Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Tina Sunshine. My name is Tina and I live in Netherlands since 5 years with my husband and two small kids. My daughter born here and my son already started with school. So I pretty much know about education system here. In this video, I am going to explain you about the Dutch education system. So if you are interested in this video, then watch this video till the very end and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. The very first or pre-phase education over here is called Pewter Spill Sal, which is roughly translated to Toddler Playroom. I know it sounds a bit silly, but it is pretty much equivalent to nursery school. The children aged from 0 to 3 can attend Toddler Playroom. However, it is not obligated to do so. Once child turns 4, the next phase of education starts which is called basic school or roughly translated to basic school. Here children uh, learn uh, the basic skills uh, like writing, reading, calculating, crafts along with some basic subjects. Hence basic school is pretty much equivalent to primary school. Basic school consists of a total of 8 grades. These grades over here are referred as groups and for example once you enter the basic school you will be on group 1. So that also means that at the age of 4 your kid will be on group 1 and in the following year he will be on group 2 and so on. In group 1 and 2 children learn their letters but not to read and write. They learn their numbers but not uh, start doing, they don't start doing calculations. They get plenty of playtime inside and out. They do arts and crafts. Uh, in group 1 and 2, the focus is really uh, learning new school routines and preparing them to new school environment. In Dutch primary school, that is a basic school, the major transition happens from group 2 to group 3. Here the school becomes more academic, not like preschool and here children learns reading, writing, doing maths work and here children spends most of the time sitting at their own desk. During group 6 and 7, kids are taught all about the basic traffic rules. In Netherlands, it's pretty common for kids to travel to school by cycle, which is not very common in India seeing the school buses are not the things over here. Nearly end of group 7, everyone is obligated to take cycling exam and in which uh, uh, you have to cycle in certain route uh, through town by paying all the attention of traffic boards. Once you pass the exam, you will receive your long awaited cycling diploma. Besides that, you are also obligated to take CETO test near the end of group 8. The result of CETO test and the, your overall performance of basic school will determine the level of secondary education you are going to follow. Hence, the CETO test result is very important. By this point, your child is 12 years old. At age 12, the child will enter food khazet on the rise, roughly translated to continued education, which is also equivalent to high school. Things about continued education is that there is different difficulties of high school to choose from after basic school. This is where the CETO test results comes, in, comes into play. Depending on the advice you are given in group 8, you have to tell options. VWO which is a rough acronym or preparing scientific education. This is the highest possibility difficulty of continued education you can possibly follow and will take total of 6 years to complete and VWO prepares its students for WO which is similar to university. HAVO a rough acronym for higher general ed continued education. This is the second to highest possible difficulty you can follow and will take 5 years to complete. Whereas VWO often deeply delves into a particular subject matter, HAVO tends to cover the more general side of things. Plus, VWO also tends to have stricter grading methods compared to HAVO. MAVO roughly translated Secondary General Continued Education. MAVO will take you 4 years to complete and prepares you for MBO. 
in terms of difficulty there is quite a gap between mavo and havo vmbo which is a rough acronym for preparing secondary job education which comes in four different routes each of these routes takes four years to complete vmbo tl the tl standing for theoretic education which actually is just a different name for mavo vmbo gl the gl standing for mixed education which is pretty much equal to mavo except gl adds a job specific subject making gl a mix between practical and theoretic subjects vmbo kb kb standing for job framework which mainly focuses on practical subjects rather than theory based ones students have learned skills by doing rather than studying vmbo bb bb standing for job basics which is pretty similar to kb except the amount of study load is a lot less both kb and bb are there to prepare students for handicraft and other sorts of craftsmanship practical education that is practic on the ways students who are unable to obtain a vmbo diploma but still wish to enter the job market can be enrolled in practical education the last but not least there is also a route called lwoo which acronym roughly translates to assisted learning education this route is meant for vmbo students who either struggle a lot with basic subjects like calculation grammar reading comprehension etc or have several social and emotional problems all right that's all of them i think uh, there probably some more exceptions that i glanced over but these are are the major ones uh, i could go in into more detail in how it it these routes work uh, but i saved it for my later videos hence i request you to subscribe to my channel so that you will get a notification of my new videos and um, now let's discuss how these uh, facilities works in college we will start with mbo as i mentioned earlier mbo is a type of college you can attend after you have completed mavo mbo is categorized in four levels mbo level 1 level 2 level 3 and level 4 and takes a lot of 3 or 4 years to complete with each level the amount of independent work activity increases meaning at level 1 you are an assistant while at level 4 you are capable of performing specialized tasks the minimum requirement to enter level 2 to 4 is that you either have a vmbo or mavo diploma you are only capable of progressing to the next tier of college like education if you complete mbo level 4 from here you have the option to progress to hbo or enter the job market with an mbo level 4 diploma which is somewhat equivalent to an associates degree HBO can roughly be translated to higher job education which is the follow up of havo and takes 4 years to complete though of course graduated half of students also have the option to choose MBO if they wish so far HBO together with WO from the university section of education in the Netherlands the main difference between the two though is that HBO focuses is more on understanding how things happen and applying acquired knowledge with more supervision while wo is more focused on why things happen and is more research oriented with less supervision though in reality the amount of supervision within hbo is also pretty much non existent once students complete an hbo course they'll earn an hbo bachelor degree afterwards they can choose to enter the work field or continue studying for an hbo master degree as i mentioned wo in contrast to hbo is more focused on research aspect of subjects wo can be roughly translated to scientific education and is the follow up of wo 
though of course vwo students can also enter hbo or mbo courses after approximately 4 years students will be rewarded with a wo bachelor degree all right that's pretty much about dutch education system there is a quite a lot about grading and law stuff which i left out then if you want me to make a video on this topic then please comment in the comment section if you find my video a bit informative then please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel uh, thank you for watching my video i hope to see you in my next video till then bye